Hello friends! Once again, this is RJ. And I'm back for another episode of do-it-yourself car improvement. For today's video, I'm gonna show you how I was able to install an Apple CarPlay on my Android head unit. So let's go! So, what I have here, is a CarLine kit, wireless version of the USB CarPlay dongle for Android Multimedia Player head unit. A plug and play device that gives you ability to safely use what you love about iPhone while driving. CarPlay is a smarter, safer way to use your iPhone while you drive. You can get directions, make calls, send and receive messages, and enjoy favorite music. All of these made possible using voice command through Siri. What you'll get is a CarPlay USB dongle to be connected to the head unit and a user manual for instructions. So first, plug the CarPlay USB dongle to a USB port of your Android head unit. Secure tight connections and rest the unit to a surface to prevent disconnection. Then, on your Android head unit, go to a web browser to download the application. Enter the download link provided in the manual. It will redirect you to a downloading page, and simply wait until it is downloaded successfully. Once installed, the application will prompt a command to insert the USB dongle. Once inserted, it will recognize and will ask for permission to allow the application to use and access the mic, the files, etc. Just allow it and set to default to automatically launch application once the USB dongle is recognized. The application will then wait for the iPhone to be connected. On your iPhone, go to Wi-Fi settings and connect to the Autocket network provided by the USB dongle. Then, go to Bluetooth settings and also connect to it. Allow then to use CarPlay. The display will then change to CarPlay interface. This is how it looks like with Apple CarPlay. It uses the same apps engine as the iPhone but displayed on the car's infotainment screen. It has its own setting where you can customize notifications such as focus driving. This is a new feature revamped with iOS 15 update, equivalent to iPhone's do not disturb option. Other features such as announce messages, dark theme, wallpaper and use of Siri can be toggled in the settings. With the new update, you can now split screen between two or three apps to queue up driving directions in one window, control music from another, and view other app on another window. Let us try actual simulation of some important functionalities of the CarPlay. When the head unit is powered up, 
The CarPlay application should automatically launch after some time and connect with the iPhone provided that it is within the Wi-Fi range. As you can see, it is now searching for the iPhone, and will connect automatically with Wi-Fi and Bluetooth, then launching the CarPlay home screen. Now let's see what happens when we simulate sending a message to the iPhone and making a call. Six three nine nine five one seven three six two three seven said, Hi, how's your CarPlay experience? Unknown caller. Hey Siri, call 0995-1736237. Calling 0995-1736237. Hey Siri, open Spotify. Hey Siri, play music. And that's it. We now have an Apple CarPlay in our vehicle and enjoy its voice command functionality with our favorite car applications. I hope you find it helpful. Please do not forget to like and subscribe. Thank you.